Hi, I have in my hand here a Lab Gear IO link. It's, they call it a lab link, okay? So fundamentally, there's been a whole array of these that have come in the market recently. If we just look at the input here, we have an input coming from a, an I.O. port, we have an input on this side here coming from a TV aerial, and an output here which will basically run uh, to a second television. So why has this product come onto the market? Well, fundamentally, it's the fact that recent Sky high-definition boxes, such as this one here, don't have an RF2 output on it. So you can't run the picture from this box to a second room, and as well as that, you're not able to, as you did traditionally with the RF2s on it, have a 9-volt signal to work a Sky Eye. So what they have on all the Sky boxes which don't have the RF2s, they have an I.O. link like this, an I.O. port, okay? So it means that we can take a signal that will give both power and also picture from this box and power this. So on the input side of this antenna in, if we did use this part, it's not essential that we do, but if we did, it would take a feed from a TV aerial, um, which would, for instance, be bringing in the Serview channels and, uh, from a UHF aerial, and combining it um, in with the modulated signal coming from the skybox. So what the output of it then could not alone have an output from the skybox and a nine volt signal to work a sky eye, but also the Irish Serview channels as well. So if, it's, if I was to demonstrate this being put in, it simply slots in here like this. It's extremely simple like that. Now I have a, a additional videos in this series that covers the whole installation guide, how to set it up in your box, and another video that covers the whole area of troubleshooting on it. Uh, but fundamentally, this is a good little unit here. Uh, it works uh, well and it gives a good workaround in terms of um, uh, the fact that the boxes don't have the RF2s. But a word of warning, and this is generic across things, that in general, we say the power output that comes from these IO ports on the box itself, rather than the unit, um, isn't quite as strong as it was with the RF2 output directly from the Skybox. And that, that can have you know, some complications, but on a general straightforward setup, this unit will work perfectly. So that's it, and an overview of the Lab Gear uh, Lab Link uh, IO Link, which is available on our website.